Hello everybody, this is Roger Bowman here and the topic of this video is going to revolve around fitness. Of course, I have been doing quite a bit of videos on hormones and testosterone and related topics on that side of the fence, but once again, this one revolves around fitness and to be much more specific, um, uh, it's going to involve calves and how do we build our calves or give a bit more uh, shape, if you will, below the knees? Uh, of course, with that question comes the other question is, what's the best way to train our calves in order to build them or, or give some shape? So what I have found through the years is that both the, the guys and the gals want to have nice calves. So, you know, of course, uh, a lot of women always want to train their butt. They want to train their legs, and guys tend to ignore that. And then on the flip side, a lot of guys want to train, you know, those show muscles, upper body, chest, arms, but they don't tend to want to work a lot of legs. Uh, but when it, when, when it does come to calves, um, yeah, I think it's pretty universal in, in my uh, 18 years of experience working in, in this industry. So... Uh, in short, for those that are thinking from a cosmetic standpoint, you know, not just to build strength or just general, you know, health, wellness, fitness, but, but cosmetically, I say like build, actually add some size and some shape. Um, I like to sh suggest, uh, Tabata uh, approaches. So e Tabata training uh, is sometimes referred to or known as the four minute workout. Um, so in other words, the, the approach with Tabata training is essentially 20 seconds of work, whatever that exercise and, and you know work might be, uh, followed by 10 seconds of rest, which I mean that goes by super fast. 10 seconds is hardly anything. So uh, with with calves, calf raises, which can be seated, standing. Uh, personally, I, I like to lean towards seated calf raises as my my favorite, my go-to. You know, you we would take the approach of taking this 2010 for eight sets. So we would do calf raises for 20 seconds at a steady, consistent pace with a very full range of motion, a stretch, and then a, a, a very strong peak contraction and controlling tempo. Tempo is very important uh, because when we have good tempo and control, we also therefore have time under tension where the muscle is constantly being engaged and contracted. 20 seconds, 10 seconds of rest, and then we start repeating that. So if we could just kind of pause that uh, for just a moment, let's step aside and, and understand in, in basic in basic terms, uh, you know, what our energy pathways are and the different type of uh, muscle fibers that we have. So we essentially have two uh, muscle fibers and technically there's more, but we're, we're keeping it simple here. We have fast twitch and we have slow twitch muscles. So fast twitch are the ones that respond for once growth, but they are a bit more explosive. They respond better to hypertrophy and, and growth. Okay. And then we have aerobic slow twitch muscles okay so most of us just simply due to the fact that we're probably walking around all day long on our feet most of us are given uh, from a genetic standpoint more slow twitch muscles down below the knees and around that the, those calves right because we have to be able to walk around all day and sustain that you know that aerobic capacity and you know we're just we're constantly moving or at least we should be <laughs> uh, so those don't respond that well to growth, those slow twitch ones, they don't. So we need to ask ourselves, how would I get to those fast twitch muscles that then would respond? How, how can we dig deep in there and pull those suckers out and put them to work and, and stimulate them? And in order to do that, we need to also get in an anaerobic energy zone, okay? So Tabata, Going, you know, going back to that is a great way to do so. So 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest is not a rough enough time aerobically to recuperate uh, from that set. So by the time you get a few sets in, set, you know, third, fourth set and, and beyond, 
you're primarily working all anaerobic pathways and therefore those fast twitch muscles and then you start working in the right way in order you know to to build something in that area so once again that's um you know a, a favorite of mine a go-to if you will it is something that i personally utilized many years ago um you know prior to you know getting heavy into the competitions and whatnot um, and for those you know that may not have followed me and I, I guess maybe to give myself a little bit of credibility here um, in 2013 I, I did win my IFBB professional card um, at, at nationals I won my pro card uh, in men's physique and I had done quite a bit of competitions you know leading up to that many of which I won um, and one of the things that I often got complimented on and, and um, kind of gave me gave me some some extra points there standing up on stage among many dozens of other other guys. I remember at nationals, I, I uh, we had over 30 guys. I believe it was 34 guys up there on stage with myself at nationals. Um, and once again, I, I won my pro card. Um, but I, I got uh, complimented quite a bit on, on my calves and, and how I stood out because of them. Uh, and I personally attribute a lot of that. Um, to incorporating Tabata training for a few years on a fairly consistent basis prior to you know doing all those competitions for a few years there um, so you know once again um, you know I, I you know Tabata if you're not familiar with it you know again simply 20 seconds work 10 seconds rest do that eight times and of course you can google a little bit more for details on that and, and workouts that, that revolve around it but hopefully that was uh, insightful maybe a little a little, little nugget of info a little insight and, and helpful uh, if you of course want more you know please feel free to follow me and also uh, please let me know if there's any uh, topic that you would like to cover or a question that you would like to ask you know, under the health, wellness, fitness umbrella, you know, I, I sincerely, I, I'm just uh, always very, very happy to help, you know, wherever I can. So uh, thanks once again, guys, for tuning in, and I hope to see you on more videos.